and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome welcome I'm Marie <laughs> um so yeah I'm back at it again with the scary videos uh, it's been a couple like videos since I've done a scary video I think I'm pretty sure so I'm gonna watch another scary video by Mr. Haunted <laughs> Forgive me. I'm just, my brain is doing a lot today, per usual. I'm very special, so just bear with me now. Uh, but yeah, so gonna try to get back on my little, like I said, I'm trying to get my scary video, like, tolerance built back up, because I've been lacking. The past few videos, like, I've just been straight terrified. I don't know why, but it's okay, though, because... We're gonna fix all that. So this in particular video is uh, three Instagram horror stories, which I'm still trying to like figure out in my brain. How was Instagram terrifying? I mean, granted, I know some people's pictures, some people's profiles on Instagram, very cringy, very terrifying. But I think these are like legitimate horror stories from Instagram. So I'm a little nervous. Because I really don't want to have to delete my Instagram today. <laughs> but I guess we're going to have to hear these stories and see what's, you know, what's going on with Instagram. What's so terrifying about it. I'm actually really nervous. Uh, but it's okay though. We're, we're going to get through the video together. That's why I'm watching it with you guys. So, we can get through it together. Be fine. Be lit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm nervous. I can't even put my headphones on. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna watch this. It's be fine. And it's like, okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, well let's watch this video. You know, it's no better way to build your tolerance up to this than to just jump on it. So cool. Mm. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, wait, it's fine. This story is told in the perspective of a female. It was the early okay. summer of 2014, and my school had just let out for the summer. My friends had told me about this new and quite popular app called Instagram, and that I should get it to follow up on what my friends posted. It wasn't yeah. the first time I heard about Instagram. I just looked at it as another social media app that had no purpose in it. This was the year that the app blew up, so I was constantly getting told that I should download it. After weeks of my friends pushing me to do it, I finally downloaded the app just so they could stop hounding me. I created my profile, added my picture, and gave a brief description about my interests. Hanging out with friends, going to the movies, etc. I followed my friends and decided to create my first post. I didn't want to post anything boring, and at the time for girls, Instagram mainly focused on how attractive you were to gain more attention or whatever. So I took a very casual photo of myself and posted it. It didn't get much attention, obviously, and the only people who liked it were my friends. Keep in mind that I'm not the type of person who is obsessed as to how attractive I was, nor did I even care. In other words, I didn't want to be like most girls on Instagram. Fast forward about a week later, my friend seemed happy that I at least showed some interest in the app and that I should post more stuff if I wanted to gain followers. As stated before, I didn't care about that and didn't take their advice. One night, I was sitting in my bed working on a school project for my chemistry class when my phone dinged. Mm. I looked at it and it was from Instagram letting me know that some user named joshmaster237 wanted to send me a message. My Instagram was private, of course, which was why it was requested. I opened the app and went over to his page. It was just stuff related to cars and motorcycles, things like that. His okay. message said, Hey, uh, my name is Joshua. I've seen you around school, and I just wanted to chat with you. First of all, I didn't know a Josh, and it was very weird for whoever this person was to be messaging me. I didn't respond to his messages and then blocked him. Later that week, I was in the front entrance of my neighborhood waiting to get on the bus to go to school. 
It was approximately six in the morning, and there was barely anyone was out at like this time. Mile. However, so. I noticed a shady-looking car creeping along the road headed toward me. I thought nothing of it and acted like I didn't see it. The car eventually came to the stop right next to where I was standing. A man I'd see in his 40s or 50s rolled down his window. He was a very creepy looking man. He said, Hey, uh, I see you're waiting for the bus. I mean, I could drive you to school if you want. I of oh, course ignored no. him and went on my phone so he could at least oh. get a hint that I didn't want to talk with him. However, he kept asking me to the point where I finally told him no and to leave me alone in a sort of annoyed tone. Unfortunately, that didn't seem to faze him because he only kept trying to lure me into his car. Eventually, my bus came and I immediately got on. Throughout the day, I didn't see him and thought everything was over until that night where I got yet another notification from Instagram. Did you not tell him? To my surprise, it was the same user that had messaged me the other night. What the message read was disturbing and very unsettling. Mm. No. You're lucky the bus came in time. I was about to grab you and throw you in the car myself. My heart dropped and I deleted my Instagram page and never went back to it. I didn't tell my parents fearing I would get in trouble as I wasn't even supposed to have social media. I never heard from Josh or whoever he was ever again and I hope it stays that way. A friend from school uh, now picks no. me up from my house and we both go to school and back to our houses. I don't know what happened to Josh after that incident. But as far as I know, the his Instagram page jail. was gone. I'm just hoping he's not out there trying to lure people into his car. Um, I still have thoughts is. as to what would have happened somebody. had he gotten hold of me. I would have called the police, the FBI. Everybody would have known. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm just scared. Oh. <laughs> I can't watch this. In 2015, when I was 18 years old, my friends and I had recently started using the new Instagram app. Yes, mm -hmm. Instagram existed before 2015, but it wasn't as popular then. I don't know what made it so popular during this time, but my friends and I thought it was way better than Facebook or MySpace. We'd constantly post selfies of ourselves by the beach, at the mall, or wherever we were to show that we were having a good time. I don't mean to brag, but we gained a lot of attention from our pictures, mainly beach pictures as those were the ones where we exposed more skin. It sounds weird, but most people like pictures like that. Anyway, fast forward to about a Is month later, though? school had Maybe. finally ended and summer vacation was finally upon us. My family and I were going up to Fort Myers to stay there for a few nights as a sort of small vacation. We lived in Orlando, so it was considered as a trip. We had previously booked a beach house by the ocean to enjoy the view and because the beach was only two minutes away. It was a Friday evening and I figured I'd go out to the shore to take a few pictures for my Instagram. I took a few and posted them almost immediately to my page. The likes and the comments came flooding in almost immediately. However, I noticed that there was one particular comment on my photo from someone I didn't know. I keep my Instagram as private, which means that whoever wants to follow me has to request it and I know for a fact that I never accepted their request. I'm very cautious as to who follows me on Instagram and I got a bit curious as to who it was. I could tell that it was a guy based on his username. His comment read, Damn, you're cute. I went to his account and what I saw shocked me. I expected it to be a guy around my age but instead it was some man that looked to be in his 50s or maybe even older. He had around 100 followers and was following over 300 people, including me. His name was Marcel and he was apparently 55 years old. It disgusted me and I deleted his comment. I didn't want to block him as I thought it would be rude to do that, so I left it alone That's hoping he wouldn't comment again or attempt to talk to me. Mm. However, yeah. that night at around 10, I received a message from the same guy. He introduced himself and wanted to chat with me. I told him that I felt uncomfortable chatting with someone who was way older than me and that I was too busy. He then started to tell me that it would be all okay and that he just wanted to get to know me. I again told him no and ended up blogging him. I'll show the picture of the chat on screen now. After that he thankfully stopped and I wanted nothing to do with it anymore. However, later that night I was getting ready for bed when an unknown number called me. I figured it was a scam call, but I picked it up anyway. I said hello into the phone, but there was no answer, so I hung up. 
but not even 10 seconds later, the same number called again. This time, I picked up a bit annoyed and said hello into the phone once again. <coughs> there was a voice, a voice of a man that said something I will never forget. He said my full exact name. The call then hung up and my heart was constantly skipping beats. I very well could be wrong, but I was pretty sure that it was the same man from Instagram. Two things don't happen so close together without them being linked somehow. The Instagram account was then taken down and I couldn't find it after that. The scariest part, however, was how he knew my phone number and my full name. Okay. I can't. This is too much. <laughs> this is too much. Too much. Like, all of them is, like, well, mm. This okay. story is something that I witnessed As my phone rings. Back. It is by far the most scariest and most unsettling experience I've ever had. Nope. In 2015, nope. my girlfriend Lauren had died due to a heart attack while asleep. It happened without warning, and we still have no idea as to what caused it. Even doctors aren't sure. She didn't smoke often, and she had a relatively healthy diet, so it didn't make sense at all. Every day, I would constantly be crying due to her death and couldn't get her off my mind. Her parents had took all of her belongings the day after she passed, and the only thing I had to remember her was a picture of us, as well as a few on my phone. Months had passed, and I had already moved on. I lived on my own in a different state and worked at a shopping mall. One day, I was in bed texting my friend, when all of a sudden, I received a notification from Instagram. The notification said that someone wanted to send me a direct message. I didn't know who this person was, but I noticed something strikingly familiar about the username. It took me a few seconds to realize that it was my girlfriend's Instagram username. My heart dropped into my stomach, and I immediately opened the chat and, of course, accepted her message. It was the same profile picture of her. I'd like to mention that my girlfriend was practically glued to her phone on social media before she passed. I typed in chat saying, Who is this, and why are you on my girlfriend's account? I could practically feel the anger rushing through my veins. Whoever was on the other end typed back, claiming that they knew all about Lauren. At this point, it was obvious that someone, most likely one of her friends, was trying to pull a prank that I didn't like. What kind of person takes control over a person's phone who had died? I hastily typed back, saying, Look, you need to stop doing this, as it doesn't only make me upset, but that it's also very disrespectful. After that, there was no response from whoever it was. Fast forward to about two weeks later, I received yet another message from the same user. This time, the message was similar to a threat. The message read, She never wanted to be with you. She wanted to kill you. At that point, whoever this was had crossed the line, and I raged, typing back that they were sick in the head and that they needed to stop. After that, I had blocked Lauren's account and went to confront her parents about it. Her parents had told me something that still sent a shiver down my spine. Stop. Apparently, oh they had both gone out for dinner one night and came back to find that their house had been ransacked. The only thing that was missing was all of Lauren's belongings, including her cell phone. As my phone keeps blowing up in the background, um, what? And see, I just, this is why I can't. I just can't. What? Who robbed somebody's house just for those specific things? Like, clearly she has some kind of psychotic stalker if they only took her stuff. Like, um, I can't. Instagram, who? Delete. I'm joking. <laughs> but seriously, though, that is terrifying. Like, how do you find somebody's whole phone number? And their whole, you know what, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. That's terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. The first story, terrifying. Pedophiles, weirdos. Oh, that's why I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, kids really need to be like, I don't think kids should be on social media, honestly. Like, I know y'all have seen it. You be on Instagram, and these little kids be up here dancing and with their little TikTok videos or whatever, <coughs> thinking they're cute. And I'm like, it may be all fun and games and cute, but there's some weird people out there that 
do not think that that's just, oh my gosh, look at that little kid dance, that's so cute. No. Stuff like that freaks me out. Like, my mind is blown. I can never, I can never. But um, yeah, I'm, yeah, still building that tolerance to the scary videos. It's gonna get there. It's all right. It's thundering right now. What is going I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm freaked out. It's like bright and sunny outside, but it's literally thundering. Okay. Um, clearly. <laughs> I need to get my life together. But, anyways. Yo, it's really thundering. Oh, hold on. I love thunderstorms, so I need to go outside real quick and like see what's going on. But, anyways. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, okay? Yes. Um, and yeah, follow my social medias down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.